Hey, welcome back to another H1 video. And in today's video, we are checking out my brand new camera that I'm adding to the collection, my SX70 autofocus from Retrospect. Let's get into this. Okay, so like I said, welcome back to another H1 video. And yes, I picked up a new camera to add to my collection. This is the Polaroid XX SX70 with autofocus. That's what that big gold thing is. But I bought this from Retrospect, and one thing I had them do before they sent this out to me was convert the film from the OG SX70 film to the 600 film, which is like the newer version of the film that's better for like indoor shots, which is why I did it, because I shoot more indoors and I got that film for that purpose. But anyway, yeah, so this is my new camera. I'm gonna kinda unbox it for you guys today and then I'm also gonna take it outside so you can see what some of the shots look like on the 600 film. But let's get straight into this unboxing here. So as you can see, the original release for this type of camera was 1978. I'll go ahead and leave you all this information. And uh, just to let you know, when you buy a camera from Retrospect, you kind of get this like packaging from them, which is pretty neat. Um, I got the black camera with the black leather. Um, this is again with the sonar autofocus. It also has a manual override. So what the sonar autofocus does is kind of like a bat. It shoots out uh, sonic waves. And then when it detects where it's at, it automatically adjusts the autofocus for that, which is pretty rad for a camera this old. Um, it doesn't have built-in flash, but neither did the OG SX70. So I have an SX70 here. And then, yeah, so again, so this says it uses the SX70 film. However, I did get it converted at the factory where they fixed this all up to use the 600 film. So I'm excited to do that. And you know, maybe I'll shoot a couple shots with my OG SX70 and compare what the SX70 film looks like compared to the 600 film outdoors and then indoors, which is where the real issue, well not the real issues, with the real comparison is. But you get this kind of box. It's a really nice quality box. I'm not gonna lie, it feels really nice. And it's got like a little magnetic closure here. You open it up, boom, there's the camera. So let's take it out. Let's uh, just see what else we get in the box here. So we get kind of the user guide for the SX70. So one thing about Retrospect is they actually buy these cameras secondhand, get them into their store, completely break them apart, take them apart and restore them from the bottom up and then ship it to you. But yeah, so it kind of gives you some information on like how to open the camera, what to do. I'll do all that myself because I own a couple of these already. You get a cool little sticker. This is kind of like the Retrospect logo. And then you also get, ooh, that's blinding. Let's cover that up. And then you also get this, which lets you know that this camera has been modified from using SX70 film to 600 film. So again, this film is best for like low lighting, stuff like that, which is why I wanted to convert it because while I do love my SX70 here, this uh, kind of, this is like the OG one. This is actually one of the first models that ever came out. So this is like the OG, this is like the classic one. Um, I'll be honest, the shots indoors just aren't great. They're not the best shots indoors. Um, outdoors with lots of, you know, direct sun, they look great, fantastic for that. Um, but you know, if you're gonna shoot something indoors, this isn't the best. You know, I have a flash that I bought, I bought the mint flash bar, but you know, this camera right here, this is gonna be kind of my all around daily shooter. And this film is a lot easier to find in stores. Um, you can go into any Target or Walmart, Best Buy, and you there's a good chance you're gonna find this uh, Polaroid 600 film. The SX70 film, yeah, good luck. It's a lot harder to find that. But all right, let's, uh, let's pop this guy open here. And there it is, the SX70 with the sonar autofocus. You can see here at the bottom, I don't know, super neat little camera. I like the all black. I just think that looks really sick. And then, yeah, what do you think? But all right, I'm gonna load this up with some of the new film right now. So all you gotta do is you push this little button here, opens up the film door, and then we get our film. I bought a whole bunch of this Polaroid SX600 film. No, SX600, Polaroid 600 film, 600 film. Uh, so you'll wanna use the one that says it works with the vintage cameras. So you get the film, you take it off the little wrapper. And then it's just a simple kind of loading in like this. Oops, I had it upside down. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that is up. And then you close it. Oops, there it is. That means we're good to shoot. So uh, yeah, so once the film is in there, the camera starts working because there are batteries in the film cartridge itself. So you can hear the autofocus working now. 
You hear that? Let's see if I can get a shot of you guys. This might be a little too much light because the light's hitting me here. Let's turn this off. Okay, let's get a little, little shot here of the setup. We'll cover that up. And yeah, so again, I'm gonna say uh, one of these cameras, ooh, let me turn my light back on. Okay, so I will say real quick before we get into this uh, comparison, like side-by-side -side shots, that this camera will probably have better looking photos simply because it's already been calibrated by the SX70 team. So there shouldn't be any like artifacting or ghosting uh, whatsoever with this camera. Whereas with this camera, it's not calibrated. It's, uh, I bought this camera as is on eBay and uh, granted it's in fantastic condition, but you know, the rollers are dirty, stuff like that. So uh, just a heads up, this might show some like light artifacting or some weird stuff. It's not because of the, let's try to judge the quality of the photos, not so much like the weird stuff that happens in the photos. But I'll shoot a photo of my setup right now also in this lighting, just so you get an idea of what SX70 film looks like indoors versus 600 film indoors. I think I have a couple shots in here. Now I will say there is no automatic autofocus. So I will have to focus this myself which isn't a bad thing. Now, I'll have to keep them very separate because there's no nothing on the back of these that tells you which one is SX70 and which one is 600. So I'm gonna keep these face down. You gotta let them develop for about 15 minutes. So I'm gonna pause this here. And then we're just gonna take a quick look at what an indoor shot looks like. And then we're gonna go outdoors and see what those outdoor shots look like. Okay, welcome back. It's been 15 minutes. I'm not gonna lie. I did film this portion and realized my mic wasn't on. So refilming it. But anyway, this is the shot I got from the 600 camera. Uh, it's a little bit blurry, and I think that's because the autofocus focused more on the ring light, not necessarily the camera, but otherwise it's a pretty crisp shot. And then this is what I got from the SX-70. Um, I'm not going to blame the camera, this was clearly just a bad Polaroid shot, and you get that sometimes. Sometimes Polaroids don't work, kind of a bummer um, for that in the moment stuff. Uh, but also, you know, it could be the camera maybe, because again, this camera I bought as is from eBay. This one I bought from Retrospect where they totally tear it down and build it back up from scratch. Um, so this camera is basically almost like a brand new SX70, uh, you know, from the factory. Whereas this one, it's gonna have its flaws. You know, like I said, you're gonna see some artifacting, some ghosting, like, you know, this is probably coming from the cartridge here. So yeah, it's not gonna be perfect. Uh, what I did do though, is I went ahead and put in a fresh uh, batch of film in here. So this has fresh SX70 film, and this obviously has fresh uh, Polaroid 600 film. And yeah, we're gonna take it outdoors, take a couple shots, and see if the SX70 uh, to 600 con film conversion was worth it. It's only 50 bucks. Um, I think it is. We're gonna shoot more indoors and outdoors and see what we get. So let's get into it. All right, so welcome back to the final part and the review of my new SX-70 with autofocus from Retrospect that got converted to shoot 600 film. <sighs> kind of a mouthful. But yeah, like I said, so here's my camera, the one I just picked up. Oops, didn't open it all the way. The one I just picked up from Retrospect. Absolutely love it. I took some really nice shots, I think. Um, so I was trying to do a comparison between the SX-70 that shoots 600 film and the regular SX-70 uh, that shoots regular film. But you know that one photo that didn't really turn out right? And I put a whole new pack of film in it. Well, uh, I went out to shoot some photos and this is what I got. Uh, yeah, so definitely something wrong with the camera because the film I put in was brand new, wasn't expired yet, so that's a bummer. So forget about the comparison because there is nothing to compare the other Polaroids I took to. So we're just gonna put that over to the side and just look at the photos from the SX-70 themselves. And those photos actually came out pretty nice. Now, I did shoot an, an initial batch, so you're gonna kind of see the B-roll of me shooting that initial batch. And one of the rolls of film got stuck. And when one film gets stuck, it kind of like shoots the shutter but leaves it open. And it's not until like you get the film out that it actually ends up processing the image. So I basically like moved the camera and like smacked it. But when I moved the camera, it took photos of like random parts of my house. Um, I don't know, kind of cool, still a little artsy, but not the photos I wanted. So I went out with a new batch of film in the camera and I reshot some of my pictures and they came out pretty nice. I mean, look at that. That's a picture of my Jeep. And then here's a picture of a barrel outside that I tried to be artsy. Uh, the sun was in front of the lens there, which is bad photography 101. Uh, did try to take some pictures of some flowers there, as you can see, pretty decent, like it's pretty sharp. 
Um, again, here's another one. I took a photo of the front of my Jeep, and as you can see, the sun was in front of me again. So, you know, bad photography 101, but still a pretty crisp photo. And then uh, here's the indoor photo I took. Not the best. I probably should have messed with the lighting. It is really dark in my house. There's not a lot of natural lighting. Um, so there it is. It's a little pop figure. Um, yeah, dude, not the best. Uh, so a little, you know, maybe I got to play with the light settings. Maybe I just need to be a better photographer. Who knows? Um, and then, you know, here's the OG photo. Um, I did get some photos of people, but I don't want to post them because like my friend's baby and I think that's a little weird, but those photos came out pretty decently as well. Um, I do find though that this camera just excels outside, um, with a bit more light. Again, I'm going to play with the settings here. Um, I'm going to go and take some photos maybe later today. Uh, so, you know, maybe you'll get an update. If you guys want an update on how this camera is and how my shooting is, uh, make sure to check out my my Instagram because that's where I'll be posting a bunch of my photos. So my Instagram will be right here. It is basically 831 on Instagram. So it's nothing crazy. Same username as YouTube. Uh, so yeah, follow my Instagram if you want updated Polaroids. I'm going to be posting a lot more Polaroid photos there as I go back into my old hobby of taking pictures. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Again, sorry, I know this video was kind of a mess. I know I tried to make it like a comparison video and that didn't work out because the camera broke. Uh, yeah, but thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please go ahead and leave a like and go ahead and subscribe. Until next time, I'm gonna go take some more pictures. Peace.